the best players to own for FPL Game Week 12? Well, I've pitted the last four game weeks of form information against the fixture charts for the next four game weeks to help us decide. Help me get this one to 500 likes and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Starting off by looking at the form charts here. And the first thing to note is that there's not a single team that's really blowing us away in terms of their form at the moment it feels like a real mixed bag which is a concern and doesn't help us in terms of making those important fantasy decisions the thing that surprised me the most is that despite surprise losses in game week 11 for spurs and nottingham forest they are both in the top three in this chart uh, liverpool the team out in front and it is significant given their fixtures over the last four game weeks have been chelsea Arsenal, Brighton and Aston Villa have come through those to top the charts and are the most consistent team in the league this season and it does make that significant in terms of buying their assets. Feels like Mo Salah um, in particular is a must own right now. Uh, Manchester United building in the chart up to fifth place now but what's going on is at the other end we're seeing Arsenal and City drop in this table. Arsenal in 19th place and you know, they have got a fixture swing, but can we really trust their assets right now, given their current form? I'm not so sure. If we move on then to have a look at the fixture chart then, this is taken from Fantasy Football Help, pitted by the attack perspective over the next four game weeks. And some really interesting things to note here. First of all, Liverpool and Nottingham Forest down at the bottom and significantly... Um, down from, from Wolves in 18th place as well. The likes of Salah and Wood, who have been such great favourites and consistent scorers, can we keep faith with them? Well, you look at some of the fixtures and I think there's enough in there in the next few weeks to, to keep the faith, but it is a, qu a question that we need to keep asking ourselves and keep monitoring. Uh, Aston Villa, noteworthy here, climbed to the top of the charts out of nowhere. Everton and Leicester still featuring strongly here. Aston Villa, three home games in the next four. Crystal Palace, Brentford and Southampton. That is quite an attractive prospect and something that we need to keep considering. If we see how all that shakes out then in the overall charts going into game week 12, um, Manchester City are a team dropping in the chart. Arsenal and Chelsea in the bottom quarter, which is a little bit of a concern here. The team out in front is Brentford, just ahead of Bournemouth, with Spurs in third place. So I guess there's a little bit of patience needed with Spurs assets, but Bournemouth and Brentford definitely looking like buys at the moment with that nice balance of both the form and the fixture. So there's a lot of takeaways. Let's have a look at the best players to pick. So one player that I have in my team that I've been umming and ahhing about whether to keep or whether to sell is Dominic Solanke. And I feel like looking at these current charts, I, I know that Spurs had the advantage in terms of their fixtures over the last four game weeks, but Solanke still feels underpriced and still has so much potential that even though it's City away next, I am prepared to just hold him a little bit longer especially going into the congested festive period i think it's important to own assets that are proven in the game i look at bournemouth and the player that i'd really want to own from bournemouth is semenyo i've currently got morgan rogers in my team though when it feels like a similar spot and given that aston villa are only fourth in the charts i'm probably not going to make the switch i think there's a lot of demands on our midfield right now. You know, the likes of the premiums in there all looking attractive. It's really difficult to get them all in. If Semenyo is a forward, I think he'd probably be a bit more appealing. But, you know, he is so consistent for Bournemouth. He really likes the home games and there's bags of potential for him. Looking at those upcoming fixtures as well. So if you have got a spot for him in your team, then I'd definitely be looking to bring him in. Uh, Brentford, the key team to target here, though. We need injury news. Um, and Burmo, I'm sure many of you own him already. I've had him for quite a while. But because he's so highly owned, that's what makes Visser, if again he is fit, so attractive because doubling up in that Brentford attack, you know they're going to get goals with these upcoming fixtures, given their current form. And while most managers own one, the double up is the key here in terms of really excelling over the next few game weeks. Do keep an eye on um, Brentford's new signing, Thiago, who could be fit, uh, who will provide competition for Visser, although I'm sure... Um, 
Thomas Frank will find a way to play with all three of them. But yeah, if you don't own Visser yet, then he could be a really good pickup this week if you have got a place in your forward line, especially if you're going to rearrange funds if you are selling Haaland to move those into your midfield. If you found this video useful, help me get it to 500 likes and subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for tomorrow's video because I'm going to be looking at the moves from the FPL experts for their team going into FPL game week 12. Thank you for watching.